Sucker Punch. Yeah, they are not. <laughs> they are not taking this. Oh, we get the one shot. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today, I'm going to be team testing Nidoking, which is something that a couple of people have been commenting every single day. So you can stop now. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll use Nidoking, okay. Um, but also, do me a favor, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 content. And also... I am recording from my house and not at my apartment, so the sound quality might be a little bit different since I'm recording off of a laptop and I don't have like my actual Audacity settings to fix my voice. But let's go ahead and get into the team. I figured that the best way to use Nidoking is actually on an existing core, as we've been using recently on the team or on the channel and finding great success, the Nut Core, Nihiligo, Urshifu, Thunderous. We can actually incorporate Nidoking as a substitute for Nihiligo as it covers Urshifu really well, covers its weaknesses really well, doesn't cover the flying types, however, while, you know, Nihiligo would have been able to, but I suppose Ice Beam on it isn't too bad. So we're running a Life Orb, Nidoking, uh, Sheer Force, which means that on all of these moves, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Earth Power doesn't take any recoil from Life Orb uh, in exchange for the power boost on all the moves and not taking any or not getting any secondary effects. If you don't know, that's how Sheer Force works. Uh, we're running Max Special Attack, Max Speed, 4 HP, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Earth Power. This guy's got great coverage. I almost ran Shadow Ball to help me deal with Dust Cops a bit better, but I think Urshifu deals with that pretty fine. Uh, so we're running Focus Sash, Urshifu, Standard Set, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, Protect, Jolly Max Attack. Running a Lumberry Thunderous, Protect, Wild Charge, Super Power, Fly. Once again, Standard Set. Running a Combine Tapu Fini. Uh, it's got 108 Speed to Outspeed the 107 Speed Creep Tailwind Pokemon. Uh, we're running just a bulky set with Muddy Water, Protect, Icy Wind. It's able to take a Kartana Leaf Blade at minus one, which is always very nice. Uh, we have an Assault Vest Kartana, my standard set. And we have an Incineroar with a Figgy Berry, Intimidate, Fake Out, Parting Shot, Darkest Theory at Flare Blitz. Just a standard edition Incineroar spread with a good amount of speed to be the fastest Fake Outer on the field. But with that, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not sure how well this team's going to work, but I have a feeling it'll work out pretty well considering it's just, um, it's like, you know, the standard Tapu Fini stuff with standard Nut stuff with a <laughs> with an Urshifu slapped onto it, or with a uh, Nidoking slapped onto it. So actually on this match, it doesn't look bad at all on lead. I think what I'll do is I'll go Nidoking and I almost want to go Incineroar on lead, but I know that they're going to lead off with Thunderous, I think. I would say here they would lead off with Thunderous to, uh, because it's just so, it's so hard not to lead off with Incineroar when there's a, um, <laughs> when there's a, sun core in the back here i think what i could do is i could bring tapu Fini in the back to prevent any kind of sleep shenanigans um and i could go i i could bring incineroar in case they don't lead off thunderous so i don't think i want to lead off with that but dang this lead is actually really difficult i could go urshifu and nido king we can bring the tapu Fini in the back and i think i have to bring incineroar as my last pokemon so yeah let's hope that this works out pretty well Okay, they end up going with the Sun stuff. I'm going to say here they would just go for a sleep on my Nidoking. I can one-shot their Executor, but I'm concerned about the Leaf Storm knocking me out. I can also just Sucker Punch Executor and switch in my Tapu Fini. I think that's my play. We'll get in Tapu Fini and we'll just Sucker Punch Executor in case it wants to go for a, um, a Leaf Storm on my Nidoking. This also covers the Sleep Powder option, so we'll do that. Let's see if he goes for the Sleep Powder. Nope, we get decent damage off. Leaf Storm's gonna be doing a lot to Tapu Fini though. Oh, as he actually goes for it into the Urshifu, which I'm fine with. Um, here, I don't think he would actually just Leaf Storm, but I, I should cover for that. But I also wanna knock out that Torkoal. I could see them possibly protecting the Executor or going for a Trick Room. Hmm. I could get in my Incineroar here and just go for the Wicked Blow to try to knock them out on their Trick Room, because I think they would go for that here. Yep, they went for the Trick Room. Awesome. So I was, I'm really glad I was able to call that there. Now I can actually get a Nidoking pretty safely. And Nidoking's a huge threat to their team, considering I can fake out the Thunderous here, and I might even just Dynamax. I could just Dynamax and go for a Max Hailstorm on them, or a Max Flare would do a ton too. I think Max Hailstorm is my best play. In fact, I won't even... Um... Dang, I really want to cover the, the Torkoal with like a, an Earth Power, but I don't think they're going to go for... I don't think they're going to go for Eruption. I can definitely take a Heat Wave. I think I'll just double into the Thunders here. 
and Dynamax. I could go for a Max Ooze, and I think Flare Blitz would knock it out still, but Hailstorm's a bit safer to reduce the damage from the Torkoal. As he flies into Nidoking, we can eat that up. And we should just KO this Thunderous here. Yeah, it's a real powerful hit. How much are we going to take from Torkoal? Solar Beam. Awesome. Awesome. And there's the Urshifu. He should just Sucker Punch here. Uh, I can beat Torkoal for sure with what I have in the back. I don't know if I live the Sucker Punch. I think my game plan is just to take out the Urshifu. And I can go for a Max Quake as well onto it. Uh, yeah, I'm not too concerned with the Solar Beam play. There's the Wicked Blow. They'll just outspeed and kill me. But I was fine with this play. I just get my berry now. I can go for a... Ooh, Urshfu could knock me out, but Torkoal's not really a threat to Tapu Fini. I could just go for a Muddy Water here and hope I don't miss. <laughs> that's that's the real issue. I'll go for the Flare Blitz and I'll go for Muddy Water. Or I suppose a Moon Blast is just as fine. I have Protect, so I'm not really scared about, you know, Solar Beam or anything. Yeah, we should be, we should be perfectly fine here, you know? Wicked Blow does literally nothing. And they forfeit. Good game. Nice. So, I mean... The Needle King didn't really carry there, but it was really useful. I think it, I think what I was able to showcase there was a great amount of synergy between the Pokemon on the team. Here, I actually feel very comfortable leading off Incineroar. Um, actually, Incineroar Urshifu is disgusting on this on this team. I can go ahead and bring my Kartana in the back, and I don't want to bring Needle King here. It isn't too great for this matchup. It really only covers the Finny, and I guess a couple of other things it could be useful for, but. Overall, I get a lot more out of just bringing my, my own Tapu Fini here. All right, there's the Dust Clomps Regieleki. Um, I could prevent the Trick Room right now by going for Darkest Lariat plus Wicked Blow. I think that's my play because they can't one-shot any of my Pokemon. Even if they set up screens, this ignores the screens, so... Wicked Blow, Darkest Lariat, I don't know if that KOs. Ah, uh, that was so close. They do get the Trick Room off though, but I can just knock out the Dust Clops here. I can Wicked Blow the Regieleki and also just target into it. I'll just double into Regieleki since they can't defend this. Um, if Wicked Blow doesn't KO it, which it definitely should, uh, I'll be able to pick up the KO with Darkest Lariat on this Dust Clops as he Pain Splits, which is a bit annoying. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I went in the wrong order. <laughs> I went in the wrong order because I tilted a little bit in that moment. There's the Glacier. I definitely want to keep my Mons around to... Um, I want to keep my, mon my Incineroar around to Intimidate. I'll go Tapu Fini here on a possible Max Quake, and I think I'll just deal with the Dusclops. They could side Brick Break. I think I'll just try to KO the Dusclops. I mean, Urshfu isn't bad here. I could just Dynamax, but I don't want to give it a. I don't want to give them their ability, you know, their or their uh, weakness policy. Hmm. Harding Shot's also very very risky. I might Dynamax Tapu Fini, but Max Kartana also seems just as good. I'll just Wicked Blow the Dust Clops and try to KO. The Nightshade, let's see if they target Urshifu. They do not, which is fine. Alright, and they're Life Orb and not Weakness Policy, which is great news for me. Um, I can get in my Incineroar here. And I might actually just Dynamax and try to KO. Since they don't do too much to Urshifu if they're at neutral, you know? Their Trick Room's also almost out, so I could Protect. But they should just Max Knuckle again. Hmm. I think I'll just go for a Protect and get in the Incineroar. Played a little bit safe. There's the Pain Split to get some health back. They Max Knuckle the Urshifu, that's fine. And I think here I should... They're going to target Urshifu to try to knock me out or even the Incineroar, so I need to cycle my Intimidate once more. I can't go for a Parting Shot because it's just way too... It's way too risky. I think I'll just Wicked Blow Dust Clops. They're probably just going to try to take out Incineroar. Yeah, okay. So I, I can prevent Trick Room for the rest of the game now, since uh, their only Trick Room setter is gone. They do have their Tapu Fini on the field, and Glacier could 
Glacier could go for um, a Protect here, but I completely ignore that. I think my best play is just to Protect. Go for the... They're behind a Reflect. I think Close Combat still does the most. Kartana kind of just wins here. I'll, I'll, per, uh, I'll just Protect here. Go for some damage. Yeah, they're within range of Kartana now. Uh, I just send in the Kartana. Send in the Incineroar. I'll Dynamax, go for a Max Steel Spike to KO the Glacier. They can't knock me out with Tapu Fini, so this should just win me the game. Yep. And what did they go for with Finny? They went for a Muddy Water. I just win. Awesome. Uh, let me go for this Moonblast into my Max Overgrowth, and that should be game. I don't even know if they take this behind Reflect. Yeah, GG. Well played. Awesome. So, so far, team's doing pretty well. I'd like to see Nidoking shine a little bit more. Ooh, interesting. Colossal Blacephalon. This lead is pretty easily dealt with by just having Urshifu. And oh my god, Nidoking goes stupid. Nidoking goes absolutely insane here. In the back, though, um, I think... Incineroar is pretty necessary in my last Pokemon. It's between Tapu Fini and Thunderous. I think I get the most out of Thunderous here. So we're going full nut core. Full nut. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about that. I can, like, the Nidoking Urshifu is so good here. Like, they have nothing that covers both of them at the same time. Except kind of Tapu Fini, but not really, because I can one-shot them with Sludge Bomb. Depending on their spread, of course, you know. Let's see if they went Blissef Coal. Ah, Yes. Yes, yes, the low ladder, we love it. Let me just Sucker Punch Blacephalon, since they're usually Scarf, they shouldn't be able to get anything off. Um, and I'll just go for an Earth Power on the Colossal. Sash Blacephalon, it could be Sash Blacephalon, but they're usually just Choice Scarf. That's the thing. Sucker Punch, yeah, they are not, <laughs> they are not taking this. Oh, we get the one shot. <laughs> that just worked so well, I'm so happy. Needle King's actually kind of gross. Thank you to whoever suggested that. Uh, I think we win now. I think we just win. XD. Yeah, nice. Good game. Good game. Man said XD. All right. How many minutes are into the video? Bro, it's only 12 minutes in. We've already gotten three, three complete wins. All right. Nidoking also goes stupid here. Look at what they have for Nidoking. It's literally just these two. I feel pretty comfortable leading off with Nidoking as well. Like, the Tailwind could be annoying, but I could just lead off with my Incineroar and deal with that. Um, I don't have Thunderbolt my Nidoking is the issue. Kartana is a must-have in this matchup, and I'm going to say uh, Urshifu is going to be my last Mon. Let's see if they lead off with Whimsicott plus Garchomp. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, Garchomp's at minus one, so he shouldn't be able to one-shot my Nidoking unless he goes for a max move. I am also pretty tempted to go for a max move here. I think a max Ice Beam would do the trick, but I kind of want to deal with the Whimsicott more than anything. This is pretty scary. I think Nidoking takes a minus one Earthquake. Do you guys... It's pretty risky. It's pretty risky. I could Dynamax and guarantee it. But then I can't guarantee stop the uh, Tailwind. The only thing is I don't think they brought Rotom Heat to this matchup, which means that I can just win with Kartana in the end. Um, I'm willing to max the Nidoking here to prevent everything. I don't care about Tailwind if I get this call right, as I do not. I could have just KO'd the Whimsicott, unfortunately. Max Hailstorm's not going to do anything there. I can go for a Parting Shot on the Lapras and possibly live. I should just ooze into you. Parting shot into Lapras. Yeah, I almost made the call and just doubled into Whimscat, but it wasn't worth it in my opinion. Resonance. Ooh, they're Life Orb. Okay. Get my parting shot off. Do you think they're faked here as Whimsicott? Get in the Kartana. Get in the Incineroar. I should always live the hit now, I think, so I'll just parting shot once more. And I don't want to target the Lapras yet, I think. I think my play here is maybe to go into Urshifu, because I think my win con is going to be Kartana. Because, yeah, Urshifu is going to be taking a lot here, but if I get the second parting shot off, it's very difficult for them to revenge kill me. I 
I kind of wish I didn't set the hail for them though. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't do, uh, do that because that's that's a bit difficult for me to play around with my Sash Urshifu. See what they go for here. They're thinking. They're thinking. Luckily, Incineroar's immune to fake tears if they're carrying it. As they max guard, interesting play. They go for the Moon Blast, which I don't agree with that play, since AV Cartana lives that anyways. Um, now I don't even gain anything from parting shotting this thing. I think I should just go for the Raw Leaf Blade and Flare Blitz into Whimsicott for the KO. Since their Tailwind ends in two turns, I think that's my play. Yeah, Moonblast wouldn't have done much since I'm Assault Vest, but I guess they wouldn't know that. They wouldn't know that. As they disconnect, we'll take that. We'll take that if it works out. <laughs> if it works out in their favor, I'll call that a win. Let's see, they got 30 seconds. They got 30 seconds. Maybe I'll be able to win. And apologies if you hear anyone in the background. My house has no soundproofing whatsoever. You can literally hear a conversation from downstairs in my room. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad, bro. <laughs> I don't want to get a new game until this one runs out, but it should be any second now. We'll call that a win. I know it really isn't since we were in a losing position, but I'll call that a win. Oh yeah, check that out. Easy. <laughs> we lost that bro, but I'll call it a win. We're technically undefeated so far. Ooh, interesting. Um, are you ready to see Ally switch Comfey? I think I always lead off with uh, Nidoking Garchomp here. They don't have anything to cover both of those, or not Nidoking Garchomp, Nidoking Incineroar. They don't have anything that covers both of those. Tapu Fini feels like a must-have in this matchup. And Urshifu could be useful, but I think I get a lot more out of Kartana. I don't think we brought Thunderous once this, this whole session, which is interesting. I mean, I suppose Urshifu could be interesting for going for crits on their screens, but I don't think... Wicked Blow is even the play when I could click close combat on most of these mons. Like, most of the team resists Wicked Blow. Look, one resist, two resist, well, just two, but you, you get my point. Oh, awesome. Okay, so, are they going to Dynamax the Garchomp? I really have to make this call, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Just go for it. Just go for it, bro. Uh, don't Dynamax Garchomp, please. Because I can take the Earthquake. You want to go for the spread move, right? Oh, they did not Dynamax the Garchomp. That's good. Wait, excuse me? Did you just crit my Incineroar? Sugarberry. Yeah, crit on the Incineroar. That's a little bit annoying. Um, luckily, I can just send in Kartana here. They go into their Urshifu. They're just going to Trick Room, aren't they? I don't think they Trick Room, actually. They lose if they Trick Room. Let me go Tapu Fini on this attack. And I want to try to max Airstream KO this Urshifu. This will also make it so I don't lose to... um, I don't lose to the... Ninetales in the back. Yeah, they shouldn't Trick Room because two of their Mons are faster than mine. They Dynamax the Urshifu, that's great news. That's a not a, quite a two-shot, but my Moonblast will is in range of KOing. Oh, awesome. Okay, uh, let me go for my Moonblast here on the Urshifu. That will definitely KO from this range. I'll go for a Max Knuckle to try to KO the Stack Attacka. I don't know if it'll KO from this range, but I'm thinking it will, because it's a Kartana. Stack Attack is so bulky that a 90 base power move isn't really anything, you know? Oh, wait, they did go for Trick Room. I'm a moron. I'm actually big dumb, uh, but I am slower than them with my with my uh, my boy now, so I should be fine. I think my play is always just going to be to Sludge Bomb and the Ninetales, hope they're not Sash. And Airstream the Urshifu, since they can't cover both these things. So here's the thing, we're in Trick Room. I'm so dumb, I didn't read the Trick Room. I'm sorry, guys. Here, here's what I'm thinking, right? So Sludge Bomb will underspeed the Ninetales in one shot as long as they're not Sash. They're probably Light Clay. Um, I can go for a max airstream into Urshifu and that will KO from this range. And if they decide to protect the Urshifu, I'll still underspeed him next turn and KO with Nidoking. Sludge Bomb. Max airstream. They have Ice Shard? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, good game. 
Ice shard on the nine tails. That's in that's that's the tech guys. Ice shard nine tails. Oh man. What move did they give up for ice shard protect? I guess that makes sense. Interesting team here. Um, looks like it's not going to be a fast Reggie Drago. I would say that's this is weird. This whole team wants to be in trick room except for the the Tapu Koko. Okay. Hmm. I mean, my Urshavu lead looks really clean, especially if I lead off Nidoking next to it. In the back here, Tapu Fini completely messes up their Regidrago. And it's especially effective if I bring the Kartana, I think. So we'll do that. Ooh, but also Incineroar. Incineroar I get a lot more out of. There's the Regidrago. There's the Dusclops. So I can't tell the Regidrago's item. Um... But, 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 I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they're just gonna go for the trick room here. But I also have to go Tapu Fini in case there's Scarf plus trick room, you know? Because it could be Scarf Reggie Drago and just wanna attack here. Uh, I think I'll take my chances. I kinda wanna take my chances. We could blow plus Earth Power, should do it if they protect. Oh wait, but they can't protect versus me. Would they even go for that? I don't think they would go for the protect. Let me just get in Tapu Fini. Yeah, Dragon Energy. I'm Focus Sash, and I, I don't even get close to being KO'd by that. Awesome. Uh, their Choice Scarf 2, which is good to know, so I'm gonna outspeed them with my boy. I can go for a Wicked Blow into Dusclops to KO from this range, and the Moonblast into Reggie Drago is pretty safe. Ferrothorn can come out. I have my Incinera, so we're fine. Yeah, it's still within range. So Wicked Blow KOs. They can go Reggie Drago here. I don't care because I've cut the damage already. My play here, I think, is always to go Incineroar. Ooh, is it though? I think they would go for the... They wouldn't go for a fighting move into Tapu Fini, so I always go for Incineroar for the Tapu Fini here. And I think I go into Nido King on their fighting move. I want to intimidate that Buzzwool, and I should underspeed it so I can parting shot this turn. They Leech Seed. They go for Max Flutterby. Interesting. Um, I can parting shot Buzzwool. Get in the Tapu Fini. Ooh, no. Okay, they're slower than me. They might be Iron Ball. I hope they're Iron Ball. That's, this would make this so much easier. I will get in the Nido King once more. Yeah. Get in Incineroar for my Tapu Fini. Since they should never fighting move this thing, they should go for like a poison move for carrying it. Or even a Flutterby, you know. Uh, and I can attempt to Flamethrower this this Ferrothorn now. I don't, because I can't protect the Nido King and I don't want to send in my, I don't want to send in my Urshifu. Ooh, okay. Let's see if this KOs. It's going to be really close. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. But they're, they are within range of Flamethrower and I can go for a Fake Out in Flamethrower and that's safe. They can't cover both these things since Buzzwell's just going to get Faked Out and he has no damage output whatsoever. Great job song up my Dynamax. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, bro. That's what you have to do. You have to, when your opponents make really good plays, like I, I will say when my opponents make excellent plays, I'll also get annoyed when they make like a bad play and get rewarded for it. And sometimes it's hard to admit when it's a good play. I need to work on that too. I think I want to, I want to congratulate my opponents more. Guys, if you play Showdown, congratulate your opponents when they do really good plays. I'm going to say that. All right, uh, let me parting shot the Buzzwell once more and just go for a flamethrower. They get the double protect, unfortunately. Uh, they're still within range of my boy. Especially since they should knock out Nidoking here, I can just make it so they're never able to protect again. They're within range of close combat. I will Dynamax Max Starfall into the Buzzwell. That was a very lucky double. Yeah, I mean, kind of. But I don't think it matters too much since you can't protect versus this thing and it'll KO.
Nice. And he's going to be able to live this, but Tapu Fini beats Reggie Drago 100% of the time. Get in the Incineroar, fake out the Reggie Drago. Go for a Max Starfall on the Buzzwool. Uh, it's probably Assault Vest, so I'm going to say it can't protect. And Reggie Drago is. It is Choice Scarf, so it'll go down. All right, and now I just go for the Darkest Lariat and Max Starfall. GG, well played. Nice. Polite people on Showdown are the best. I love them. Finn is a huge wall for my team. Yeah, maybe swap. Maybe swap Pharaoh for Cart. It'd help a bit. All right, let's get one more battle for the video. Interesting team, interesting. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this team. There's a lot of stuff it could go for, but it's also, they have one check to electric moves. And I think they're always gonna lead off with the, um, I think they're always gonna lead off with the Raichu is the thing. Needle King's disgusting in this matchup, if I can play it right, which I, I think I can. I think I can play this well enough. We will lead off Incineroar, Nidoking. It covers pretty much every option they have. In the back, the Kartana doesn't look bad at all, as long as I can remove the Blaziken. But also, my own Thunderous looks great. We will do... We'll do this. Aerodactyl Raichu. I'm going to assume they're Tailwinding. I'm going to assume they're Tailwinding. They should fake out my Incineroar. I can try to fake out the Aerodactyl. They don't really have much for Nidoking, especially at minus one. I could also try to fake out their Raichu, considering their fake out's faster, you know? And I think I get more out of faking out the Aerodactyl. Let me Earth Power here. Fake out Aerodactyl. Let's see if they fake out Nidoking. I'm probably just going to trade fake outs here. Ooh, no. As they Tailwind up, but they don't gain much for that, to be honest. Especially if I just... Let me Ice Beam the Aerodactyl for a KO here and attempt to... I could attempt to knock out their Raichu. They would need like a Stone Edge crit to knock out my Incineroar. So I'll just Darkest Lair out the Raichu. As they send in the Celesteela, that's fine. They... Ooh, their weakness policy. Interesting. They're going to be taking a good chunk of damage here, though. Ice Beam's very strong. They get in the Aerodactyl. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're within max flare range. And they can't one-shot me. So I think my play here is always just going to be to Dynamax this uh, this Nidoking. Go for the max flare. And... I definitely want to keep this guy around. Uh, Kartana seems very good in the endgame, but... So does Thunderous. I'll just switch in Thunderous. They shouldn't be able to one-shot Nidoking Dynamaxed. Rock Slide, no flinch. Alright, let's see if I can take this. Oh, they have Quake. Oh, no. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, if they have Quake, that means they're physical. Especially since they just got the Beast Boost on the physical. I think my play here is to attempt a Sacred Sword into them. <laughs> and also just Flare Blitz. I probably just lose, though. Ah, they just flinched my Kartana. That's actually... That's so annoying. That's so annoying, because they didn't EV this Celesteela well enough, in my opinion, then. Because the implication there is that they're not, they're like, they're Tailwind, but they're also not even investing in speed, so that's a little bit annoying. Alright, um, I'm just gonna get faked out, so I end up losing this match, I think. Yeah, alright, GG. I mean, unfortunately, we lose that match, but it's all good. I think the team works well enough. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a paste in the description down below. Like I said, this was more of a testing session than like, hey, check out the team I made. But I think the team works really well. So if you guys want to try it out, link in description. Do me a favor if you enjoy it, leave a like on the uh, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and comment down below what you think of it. I'd like to know. With that, I'm gonna call it, guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.